Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> like you ruin every fucking intro. <laughs> it's just another night in the burrow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Well, how's it going? Yeah, my name is Sal, uh, or Ingrid, and the dumb one's name is Crunchy. <laughs> Why? Just because I'm laughing? You're, yeah, uh, that's oh, one reason. No, no, no. Oh, and the other dumb one is. Uh, he has a name somewhere. I don't know. It's not really that Alice. important. Yeah, Name well, uh, there you go. See, there he is. We're so he introduced himself. Yeah, we're getting rid of that. We're we're cutting that one out. We're nobody wants <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants to hear. Sorry, that are you in. the editor? No, <laughs> but I'm I'm the editor in chief. Oh, you're what the editor in chief, eh? I've edited. I've I've told you stuff that you need to. She's the janitor. No, no. I'm in charge. I'm the one that says, like, okay, I'm like the director. And by director? the way, yes. the stuff, some things I cannot edit out because it's all on one audio track. Oh, look at that. For context, so, you're complaining about. <laughs> not on complaining, making track. a reasonable, valid point. <laughs> and you're going to keep making those points. It's like Neanderthals. What? You're going to keep making like... those points until we do it your way because everything has to be your way. See, exactly. You'll for it later. What? What are you a whale? It's <laughs> <laughs> like Men in Black Two. Gosh. The worst one. Men in Black Two is not the worst one. Yes, it is. Men in Black International is the worst one. International. That, that's a, that doesn't exist. I don't recognize that as a movie. Oh, well, see, that's how you know it's the worst one. We don't even recognize no, it as existing. No, because, because it doesn't have Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones. <sighs> it's not Men in Black if it doesn't have them. I'm getting a lot of recommended clips of that movie. I need to watch that again. It's a really good fucking movie. I forgot how good it was. Which one? Men in Black? Yeah. It's a great movie. Yeah, Which one? Yeah, Which one? The Men in Black. The first one? Yeah, the first one's a great movie. Defender. The third one's actually not bad either. With uh, I love the third one. The third one's Josh great. Josh Brolin, yeah, Josh Brolin. Yeah, it feel it feels like the first one, which is why yeah. I like it so much. Yeah, Josh Brolin does a very good job yeah. of being the young Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, so it was really great. You know, I'm glad Josh Brolin, uh, in the past decade, has become more active in films these days he's good because actor. he's really fucking good at what he does. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea who he was before all this stuff started happening. Who, like, what roles did he the do Goonies. previously? He, he was in the Goonies? Goonies. Yeah, he was one of the kids. Never seen that. Are you serious? You have never seen the Goonies? No, I don't I've know. Se I've is. seen the I've seen the Goonies. I just didn't know it was Josh. Brolin. I gotta look this well, up. Sal hasn't uh, seen the Goonies. We gotta watch that uh, shit. That's a, that's a great what it, what fucking is, movie. What is it? It's, it's like um. Kids. Yeah, it's like a, you ever see the Sandlot? Yeah, yeah, I've seen the sound. Lot. Okay, so it's kind of in that same vein where it's like a kid's adventure. It's centered around them, goofy yeah. happenings, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But it's more, it's more. Uh, I don't want to say cartoony, but it's definitely zanier and wackier. But oh you know. yeah, that is him. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, that was. I think that was his first role. That's that's oh, fuck me up. Man. Yeah, it's I'm a great movie. It's a good movie. That, that, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's a it's a classic kids adventure. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys! <laughs> I'm glad you guys can reenact it. <laughs> yeah, that's sloth. Sloth is this uh, mongoloid they find in a dungeon. <laughs> Turn out, he turns yeah. out to be a really nice guy. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. You know, doesn't afraid of anything. Yeah. Doesn't oh, afraid of anything. What kind of sense was that? <laughs> Did you even hear what you said? I did. Do you not understand? Oh my god, that's what is that? How old is that meme? Jesus. Fucking you don't that's know a, that meme? That's a meme. You're, you're a baby. Oh no, I don't know that meme. You don't know that meme. What? No, you don't know that meme. No, I don't. You don't know that meme. I don't know that meme. You're right, you don't. I know, I do I'm not Shut a baby. Up. Shut up. What? No. Rude. 
way. This is uh, Anyways, like we were talking about before we started. Uh yeah, the I don't know if you've watched the seventies show that angered. That's that seventies show? show? A yeah. little bit, I guess. I don't know. I've seen like an episode of it. Okay, so clearly I'm the only one in this who cares about this uh, fucking the they released the trailer for that nineties show. What? And that nineties show. No, I heard you, but like what? <laughs> I mean you would think after the 80s one like bombed so bad they wouldn't well the 80s show bombed really bad they had that 80s show they did that's that's how you know it bombed so bad (laughs) was it the same people no everybody Uh, was different okay well okay that that probably explains it if yeah because that that 90s show has the original cast yeah that 90s show has the original cast like a Topher grace you know Kurt Edward Smith, like, you know, all, all these people, they're all back. Like, well, I, I think except for Danny Masterson because of the whole thing of a Bob going on right now. What but, thing um, of a Bob? Oh, Danny Masterson's been uh, charged for raping people right now. And he's in court. Who he's isn't on tri- charged for raping people? Shit. And he's on, tr- he's on trial and he's claiming not guilty. Is so, that just a prerequisite to become a celebrity? You got to be a rapist? I don't know. But he's the guy who, with the fro, played Hyde, you know, the cool guy? Yes. Uh, yeah, that, that was him, and uh, so he's not in the show, but everyone else seems to be. Okay. You know? So you know. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I've, 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 I don't have a problem with that '70s show. I've just never really, I've just never sat down and watched it. I've seen a couple episodes here and there. That's all right. It's a pretty, it's, you know, it's a, yeah. it's a nice sitcom. You know, it's, it's oh, I, funny. I, know. I but, you know, it's, love that show. Yeah, yeah. It's a that funny 70s show. show. I'm more I'm of just... a Raymond type of gal myself. Everybody loves Raymond? Yeah. Fucking uh, grandparents coming in. Hey, Raymond, what are you doing? It's really funny. Yes, that's basically yeah, and what then, it is. And then the brother... It was The brother lives across the street? Yeah, yeah, Robert, yeah. Yeah. Robert, he lives with his parents most of, most of the time. I see, yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a good show, too. It's fun to watch. Really fun. Yeah. I haven't watched yeah. that one either. Oh, I'll give it a try sometime. No. Yeah, I recommend Okay. okay. Fine, don't give it a try then. Jesus I, I Christ. Might, I might, I might you know, speaking of shows, I have something that I gotta fucking talk about. Oh, that 90s show. It just came out. It no, out, not right? that. Not that. Oh. Uh, you're gonna hate me for this. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna talk about Bluey for a second. <laughs> well, uh, at least it's true to form. Oh, man. <laughs> do you think we've talked so... about Bluey every fucking episode? <laughs> this is like Bluey always sick... gets at least one mention. It should. Okay. Okay. Let me Why? just because we're not the bluey uh, people. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, uh, <laughs> crunchy, go please go on. Okay, so there's new. I think it's a new episode because I never saw it, or maybe I wasn't paying attention with my son. I don't know, but he likes to sh- loves the show. And the one I was paying attention with him while watching because he was on my lap. We were watching it, and uh, so it started off innocent, like a normal kids show. And remember, like, and like a couple podcasts ago, I remember I told you that it's you know it's a kids show, but like if you pay attention to the parents, it's like real shit going on. So this time, it starts off innocent, you know, Bluey the kid, you know, she's copying her dad and blah 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 and all the stuff. They end up going outside. You ever in those you know when you were a kid and anything, whenever something really bad, they did that thing where hand to whoever the scene was but it didn't show what the thing was so like say if something someone fucking died it wouldn't show the die but they would talk about it in the kids show where it panned yes. to them they did that so <laughs> the last thing i was expecting this show was to tackle death <laughs> ah. and it was it was just it was just a bird that died, but um, the way that um, the Bluey's reaction and the horror in her face and the way that Dad was explaining it, as obviously he didn't show it, but it showed their faces. This bird was fucking mauled. What? Yeah, and the, the way that Dad was explaining how you know no 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 we I don't know what we need to clean this up and like, but we need to take it to the vet and the that you could see in the Dad's face. 
that, like, as he was explaining, that this fucking bird was mauled. <laughs> uh... Like, it was bad. <laughs> Maybe they did it because they're dogs, and that's what dogs do to birds. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, you know, and the whole time, they didn't show anything. Like, when the bird was in the box, obviously the box was covered, but, uh, you know, all this stuff. But, you know, they took it to the vet, and then they, the vet saw it. And like, looked at dad like, what the fuck am I supposed to do to this? <laughs> it's just so bad. Oh my god. So, and that's what you think. You think that's the worst part about it. You know, the kid experiences the bird dying, blah, blah, blah. They do like a funeral, that sort of stuff they used to do with the kids. Whatever. That's what they used to do with these kids' shows. That was only half the episode. The other half was this fucking little kid and the trauma. I was so un- Okay, fuck out <laughs> it really right. Speaking of sitcoms. <laughs> I was a bit unprepared for how they handled the trauma. This fucking kid got her sister to play the role of the bird and how it fucking died. What? Mm. And the mother was, and the mother was like, "Oh, you know, mother was trying to be the vet. Oh, you know, the birds are better. No, he has to die. He has to die." Like, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" I'm looking at my son, like, "What? You know, this kid's autistic. What the fuck is he picking up? Is this the sh why he's drawing this dumbass shit that I don't understand?" Like, <laughs> oh, like the floating baby. Yeah, like the floating baby. I don't know if I still don't understand that one. Huh. Like. I don't like I don't understand eventually at the end you know the kid obviously gets better or whatever fucking but the way they handled it and how it showed how traumatized this child from seeing a mauled bird on the ground like I was just guys this show is for like five-year-olds ease up a little bit eh no <laughs> like like like, maybe if it's like the fucking Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy or something, then I could understand that. But it's not. This is on fucking Treehouse. What are we doing here? Kids can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking live reaction of PTSD going on here right now. Like, oh my god. How I, 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 I've never been so distracted and so amazed by this child, that there was show, but at the same time, I'm horrified. I'm like, I can't believe this is on fucking Treehouse right now. Is it a problem that it's on that's doing that? Well, Treehouse is like it's meant for like young, like toddlers and shit, right? Yeah. You, know, you gotta. It's okay to expose them to. Got to get them and, early, I guess, then, right? You know, it's like, for instance, <laughs> what if you're a toddler that experienced something similar in that, of that in that nature, and they were traumatized, you know? Now they can now they can relate to Bluey. I, you know, you're not supposed to be... <laughs> I think Crunchy's concern makes sense because she is an actual parent. Like... And again, it's not like, you know, fucking bird hit the window and it was on the ground sort of deal, that death. No, the way the dad was explaining and the vet and everything, like if they were, they was attacked by animals. This bird was fucking gutted. Oof. And this Bluey, Bluey, who was supposed to be like five years old, witnessed this. Mm hmm. I just... I mean, what are we doing, a, guys? It's just a normal part of life, you know. You go outside some days and you just see a gut, you see a bird's guts hanging out, you know. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you just. Uh, and again, the way gotta get through it. it had the, the trauma was handled. Oh Jesus Christ! Like the kid was so traumatized, he expected people to die whenever she played with them. And all this shit, like, and, I don't know. Yeah, it's a little. Oh, weird. Yeah, it was a, it was very weird. It was a bit concerning. Um, yeah, it's an Australian show, so I don't know what they're doing on Aussie. <sighs> Fucking. 
I mean, um, I th- <laughs> what you doing think, over there? You know, ki- kids are as tough as you allow them to be, right? You know, if you if you if their brains are sponges at that point, right? They're they're still figuring things out. They're getting the they're getting uh, they're soaking in the world how things work. You know, if you uh, I'm not saying you know expose them to a snuff video or a beheading video in Al Qaeda, but <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> Little things here and there, you know, they'll they'll be they'll they'll deal with it. They'll be okay if it's not super graphic, you know. Little little John F. Kennedy shooting, you know. It's okay. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> I, I'm not saying do that. Certainly not. Oh, Jesus. But you know, kids can take it. Do you not remember being a kid? I remember being a kid. I remember being a kid. That's why I was using the like what we've seen as an example. Yeah. But like, I don't remember it like that. I mean, you ever see that movie Watership Down? That's uh. Children's I've movie. never seen that. I have no idea. That, that is. is a fucking great movie. Tragic movie. It's a great movie, but holy shit, that so, that's got some prolific material for children. Ship down. We need to it's watch It's a British that. animated film about rabbits and it's their uh, trials and tribulations. Of course, uh, of course, you know it's you know it's a bunny movie. God damn it. Well, I mean, I but, didn't know for the longest time, and then my friend was like, "Hey." You ever seen this movie? And I said, wait, this is this is a thing? This was like a few years ago. I was very happy. Mm-hmm. And then I was horrified. But I still, also watched it recently. Still happy. Yeah, it's a it's a it is not a happy movie. It's gruesome. It's Yeah. Pretty gory for a kid's movie. Yeah. And uh oh yeah. my god. Like there's a scene where uh one of them is describing how uh how they escaped the burrows when they were being paved over by humans and that shit is nightmarish you start seeing them they're like we were suffocating we there's nowhere to go we went here we went there all the holes were plugged up and you just see like bloodshot eyes like looking around like trying to trying to escape the burrows that were all paved over it's, it's fucked up wow what the fuck great movie though it's a really good movie yeah. Uh, the one of the what's his name? Who's um, who's who's the not the paranoid rabbit, but the other rabbit that was his friend. I forget his name. I, I don't uh, remember. It's been too long for me. Hmm. Well, all I know is that the voice of that of that rabbit was the dude in the first Alien movie who had a alien burst out of his chest and died. First guy to die. That was the voice. Well, here's the thing. Not every cartoon animation is meant for children, right? That one is. That one is. It is? That one was marketed towards children, yes. God. That's a kid's movie. Yeah. yeah. Granted, it's a 70s kid's movie. It's so, a PG you know, movie. Yeah. Um, it, it, so, you know, back then, you know, it, it, we're talking the era of cartoons where, you know, they're still allowed to smoke cigars and use real guns and shit. But, uh. I don't see why we can't do that still today. Oh my god. If kids could, then could take it then so can we. I'm not going to get I'm not going to get political or anything, but you know, <laughs> it, 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 we're oh, we're mm, you know, kid, it, kid, we're kids are being raised pretty soft these days, and I don't think no, that I necessarily needs that. to be the case. I understand that. But like I don't uh, I don't think watching rabbits fucking dying is the way to do it. <laughs> I mean, well, back then they were just telling a story and it was, I don't know, they... I don't... I don't think the point was the rabbits dying. That was just more of a, you know... Was one of yeah. them looking good? No, you fucking loser. <laughs> Damn. Wow, okay. I don't understand why I'm a loser. My Ingrid wouldn't die. No, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Not with, not with a twelve gauge. You're, a f- <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, just uh, load a couple of things on there and oh, do give a good pump, you know. There are, you go. Are rabbits in scum? Uh there. I have not seen a rabbit in scum. Good. I have not. I have seen donkeys, deer, horse. Bear. Okay, I'm just curious. Do they have genitals? I don't know because uh, usually I don't really try to interact <laughs> with them. 
I don't Usually, know. like the animals be. It's supposed to be a realistic game. Just it is a realistic uh, kind of realistic. But you know, I usually let the animals be. I don't. They don't bother me. I don't bother them. Well, good. So if there were bunnies and you came across one, you wouldn't bother it. No, I wouldn't. That's good. Yeah. Why? Hazel. Hazel. Name was Hazel. Just making sure. I just remember. Just making sure of what? That you don't hurt bunnies. What if I do? What are you gonna do about it? I would go on scum and what I you gonna shoot do if I come face. for you? No, you can't shoot me in the face. You don't have a gun. I do have a gun. I have a magnum that you helped me get. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Why is it called scum? Because it the whole point of the game is all criminals, all scum. Okay. Like crunchy. Yeah. 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 Just like Ingrid. That's why Ingrid's playing it. Mm -hmm. I'm playing it because you got Ingrid it for is, me. Ingrid is pretty scummy, you know? Scummy wummy. Lummy cummy. I'm the most... You can see all of that gameplay <laughs> on our second channel. Uh, it's a Let's Play channel. Yeah, that's yeah. It, it's called... Um, Don't lie to people. Pickle Plays. And it's basically just me shaking my ass and taking... <laughs> Pickle... Well, someone's selfish. I mean, there's, there's three of us here. So it's called I Pickle Plays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just about you. Yeah, it's me shaking my ass. Nobody wants to see that. I mean, yeah. Check your Steam profile. Something. My Steam profile? Oh, gosh. What did you... <laughs> what did you write on it? <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I actually have, like, comments from people I care about on there. And they're all... <laughs> Gone because you just keep. They're not gone. You do is you scroll through them. There's a scroll. They're not all. But they're not, not on disappear. my profile. I'd have to. No, I have to go to page two of my profile. Oh no, page two. I. You know, sometimes it's nice to go to my profile and see things that people have said that make me smile. And now I just yeah. see that. I just see. Yeah, chef. that makes me smile. It doesn't. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you smile. <laughs> like, what are you profile? I'm going. What's going on? Oh, and I see that, and I'm like, oh, that makes you smile. That's a like, good chef. Oh, Have man. you seen Chef? <laughs> the th what are the three things we always talk about every fucking episode? <laughs> chef, Bluey, Bluey, and, shit. and ass. Oh shit! Yeah. Well, um, let's hope it doesn't. I was kind of getting to that with the. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> Dallas, help me out here. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, just say something. Take a shit. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> oh, way down Dallas. south in the land of traitors, rattlesnakes, and alligators, right away. Right away, come away, come away, right away, right away, come away. You're supposed to say right away. Am I? Never heard I've never heard the song. It's a uh, Union Dixie. It's a uh, it's a uh, old song. Forget the original song. I think it's just called mm -hmm. Dixie, and it was a Southern song. And during the Civil War, uh, the Union racist. was like, "Hey, let's make the ultimate diss track." They took that song and uh, made it about how degenerate the South was. Oh, yeah. It's, that doesn't sound like a diss track. A, yeah, there's no hot beats. There's no uh, way down south in the land of haters. There's no audio traitors. jungle. Rattlesnakes and alligators. Where's the audio jungle? I want to hear Where audio. Cotton's jungle. king and men are chattels. Oh. Union boys will win the battles. Right away, right away, come away, come away, right away, right away, come away. Battles? Yes. What battles? There's no battles. There's no war. All right. Uh, Crunchy <laughs> is a civil war denier. <laughs> Of war. That's a Ooh, new one. So... I've never heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got 9 11 deniers, Holocaust deniers, uh, Sandy Hook deniers, the pizza Civil deniers. War deniers. That's a new one. Yeah, pizza deniers, cat deniers, um, Den uh, deny deniers, fruit at the bottom of yogurt deniers. <laughs> hey, there's fruit at the bottom of the fucking yogurt. Sometimes. Yeah, some recently. sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Crunchy, how's the weather over there? Are you, like, okay? It's fucked. I actually mentioned this while you were gone to Dallas, but if I suddenly disconnect, it's because the power ran out. Did it? Got has bored. it been going out? Uh, it has been going out. It's gone out three times today. Oof. Yeah. It's yeah, fucked. Yeah, my, my friend who's going back to 
to uh, Canada for the holidays was showing me a, a gruesome mustard colored sky. Gruesome mustard? Mustard is Yeah, gruesome. hang on. It, well, it, it is when it's the color of the sky. Hang on. Mustard. What, like a sunset or something? Like a No, it was just the sky. It was at night. Here, uh, hang on. Well, were they in Alaska? It's no, mustard. they were going to Canada. Oh, because it's foggy and the, the lights? <laughs> like, look at that shit. Yeah. That's, that's ominous. Yeah. How is that ominous? It's just light pollution and fog. Because it's, it's that's... Relish. It's ominous because the sky doesn't normally look like that. And when it does, it's like, okay, there's some there's some strange fuckery afoot. There's some deep shit going on here. Yeah. Kind of like a relish. And then I, I made the very poignant observation... <laughs> that it looks like the scene from inner space when a shrunken Dennis Quaid gets injected into Martin Short's ass. Talking about ass again? Well, specifically the inside of an ass. Oh, See, look. That's where the shit is. Look at that. That's the scene. It looks. It, it looks like. Oh Martin yeah. Short's ass. No, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Need some relish. On the ass. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Just ignore her. Maybe she'll go away. Relish is okay. I don't like how sweet it is personally. You know, if you give me a more um, savory, kind of saltier relish, I'll take that. That's pretty good. Nice and salty. Because I, because it like uh, same thing with like, I mean, relish is pickles. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you knew this. Relish is pickles. Yeah, I know. Listener. I don't even know what relish is. Listener, pickles. I'm looking at you. Relish. Yes, I know. Is pickles. So it's pickles. Well, yeah, um, I know that now. But why'd you say you didn't know what after we told you? Well, I no, I mean like, I in general I don't know what relishes are. Like I've never had a relish. It's pickles. Well, I relish know, is I, like mm. it's a condiment <laughs> that you put on hot hat bags. Like anchovies. <laughs> well, yeah. no. That works too. I've never put an anchovy on a hot dog. Some I bet there's do. somebody who has. Yeah. Like relish. If you are an individual that puts anchovies on a hot dog. Gotta enjoy them before they go instinct. Exactly. Like relish. Yes. The issue of instinction of species. That's right. You're picking it up. Leslie, no, you're picking up what we're putting down. Yes, instinction. No, I said ex I said extinct. Yes, oh. instinction. I did. Whatever. Like relish. Um. <laughs> you don't see anything worth fucking saying. Yeah. So I per I don't like sweet pickles. That's the point. <laughs> I, I prefer I prefer like salty, briny pickles. Well, I agree with you because yeah, I prefer the yeah. the, the salty pickles, the ones. You yeah. You bite mm, in nice the and juicy healthy. and. Mm. I and I like them with a big old crunch. Me too. Mm, yeah. Big old crunch. Mm. Like relish. Sal, weren't you the one telling me that you... <laughs> yes, Dallas? Weren't you the one telling me that there was like a hole in your pickle and you used it as a straw to slurp out the pickle juice? Yes, what? that was the best pickle I'd ever had. It was... It was. A, I don't know why or how, but uh, the, the top of it was like where the stem is. It, it came out or it was missing or I don't know. And it just had this hole all the way through the center of it. So I I, I took it out of the, the pickle jar and it was filled with, with juice. And when I bit into it, like all that juice in the center just gushed into my mouth. And it was, it was, oh man, it was amazing. Gosh, it sounds dang. pretty good, NGL, not going to lie. It, it was, a, it was, it was great. And I've always wanted to re replicate that, but I don't know how. Just gush it. Uh, it, it kind of reminds me of those, you know, those cookie straws, cookie straws. Yeah. They're straws made of cookie and no. you put it in milk and you slurp up the milk with that cookie straw. And then once you get a good amount of milk, oh, I know milk those. Hole, yeah, you shove I remember the cookie those. straw in your face and then chew it all up. And it's delicious. Oh, no, I've never man, had that. That sounds fantastic. really good though. Yeah. It's those are good. Mm. A little bit of relish. I'm about to have dinner right now. So this is making me nice and hungry. Pick up a box at your local salumiary. 
for relish? Not for fucking. Oh my! Stop <laughs> saying it. Stop saying relish. I'm relishing in the relish. I I know. Oh, believe me, I know you are. <laughs> uh, cliff note: uh, Salumiary's uh, processed cured meats. They don't they don't give cookie straws. You're, so if you go there, ask for a cookie straw. You're not gonna you're not gonna get you're not gonna get cookie straws. You get relish them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Shut up, please. Okay. Not you. Okay. Not okay. well yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Wow, well, okay. Wow, well, huh. Okay. You really should though. Okay. Stop s- <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Just gonna give up. You know probably you know probably help. No. What do you mean, no? I, do, you I don't know even. How... I don't even want to know what you're gonna say. Just don't say it. I would prefer fine. you didn't say it. I'm fine. I won't say it. Oh, good. And don't talk. And just don't exist. Relish. What? Why did you link? Why did you link that? To shift gears. <laughs> oh, I saw that. I forget. Where, where was it? Is oh, that I a, think I saw it in the pickle little curse section. Yeah, those are plushies with. Assholes. Yeah. No, those are peaches. Oh, I'm pretty sure those are assholes. They they look like bee holes. No, those are those are peaches. Those are very clear. Those I'm pretty sure they're assholes because no, notice notice the tortellini shape, right? That's very indicative of a of a butthole. It's and it's, the fact that Pokemon can be both okay, male or but female. We don't I've, know. Okay, but I've, they all have assholes. I've seen context, a lot listener, of. We're looking at a picture of uh, an Umbreon plush. Why the fuck do I even try to talk? Plush. I don't know. And well, we gotta, they gotta know what the hell we're talking about. They're two plushies, Umbreon and Sylveon, and they're both looking happy and chilling out. But between their legs is a, in, is a very conspicuous um, uh, hole. <laughs> it's a hole. And we're debating whether or not that is a, uh, is a pussy hole or a asshole hole. Either way, you know someone's gonna put it inside. Well, that, yeah, that's entirely the point. Oh my god. Fucked up. No, it's Why not. Are people so fu- Why is people so fucked Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. No, I don't think so. Well, considering they're still... They're, like, they're not even anthropomorphic. They're, like, still animal-looking. You don't... You don't... You've never seen feral furry art before? I have, but I, I don't like it. Well, it's weird. It's, it's fine, but... Like, I've know, seen it, just, and I understand. It's, it's just feral It's just kind of, like... Stuff. Oh, it's just I fair. don't know. I'm putting your dick in a stuffy. I don't know. I don't know. People, really? People put their dicks in a lot of things. I don't think it's a. a yeah, bad. but at least you fucking get like a, a proper pocket pussy or something like that. What's the difference? It's shaped like something someone's attracted to. Who cares? Listen, I'm gonna fart on you. If, if, take if you song. if you're attracted to a cute little animal, <laughs> then uh, I don't want to. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be part know. of that. There's a there's appeal to, to fucking um, a Sylveon or an Espeon or something. I've seen a lot maybe of good, they, good art. Oh, maybe bunny. if they were anthropomorphic. No, I, I mean I've seen good art of it of them like kind of semi like in between feral and anthro. I, I'm not saying the art is bad. I'm not saying the art can't be good. I'm saying just the content of uh, just just the <laughs> you don't the like content it, yeah. itself. Uh, of of an animal looking thing being railed by a human. Not a fan. Uh, I think it's yucky. I don't mind it. All right, you hear <laughs> you hear that, people? Uh, hide your rabbits from uh, from Ingrid. I was about to so. say good your rabbits. Rabbit. Good good rabbit yeah. fucking. Wow. Well, that's the first animal. Well, animal what I, I was going to say was that I've, I've seen enough uh, feral art. That those those are peaches. Those are very clearly feral peaches. I think you're overthinking this. I'm not overthinking anything. I just know what that is. That's a that's a feral peach. They look like tortellinis. Exactly <laughs> like tortellinis. <laughs> Tortellini. I yes. Just, I just I can just tell. And you know what? It doesn't matter. I I know what it is. It's fine. Wow. That's okay. Tell me what you want. What you really really want. Well, I mean, I'm not going to convince you. I don't mind. It's fine. You, you think what you want. All I'm saying is that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, I think Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans. 
I mean, not only are they in the egg, the field egg group, which is mostly uh, comprised of mammals, uh, but Vaporeon are an average of three feet, three inches tall, and 63.9 oh, pounds. Oh, the goddamn coffee pasta. <laughs> this means they're large enough to be able to handle human yeah, we, dicks, we've all and seen with their impressive base stat for HP mean, yeah. and access to acid armor, you can be rough with one. I'm gonna turn you into an Egyptian fart. Nick, you're just you're just reading the meme like <laughs> verbatim. I mean, due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my yeah. mind that an aroused Vaporeon would be incredibly wet, like so wet oh, so that you wet. could easily have sex with one for hours without getting sore. Oh man, that sounds exciting. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me more. No. Wow, I find that very racist. I mean, blame what me. is an Egyptian fart? <laughs> that just clicked in my brain. <laughs> That's what you said, right? You're going to turn me into an Egyptian fart? I'm guessing it's a, it's a, it's a shoot by an Egyptian. I'm going to end this podcast real early. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> are, are like Egyptian farts inherently worse than other farts, or well, you know, do they have they've some been... intrinsic property that well, makes you, you know... not want to be one. <laughs> Explain. Explain for a second. Well, you don't even bait for a long time, right? Okay. So imagine when they release, it fucking smells like a fucking gnarly dookie. Probably kill someone. Okay, that's fair, but it would have made more sense to say a mummy fart because there are still Egyptians today. <laughs> there, there are still Egyptians. So, I mean... Oh, that was very good. <laughs> oh, have I called you God. an idiot yet? Yes. Probably. No, I haven't. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's your catchphrase on this show. Oh, that was great. That did was, did oh. you listen to the intro of the last episode you posted? Mm, I might have. I don't know. It's been a bit. Well, uh, it, it, the the one with the gross looking rabbit. Oh, man, that the was some rabbit. funny shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> it was really dumb. <laughs> Oh, Here, that was crunchy! Funny if you, if you haven't heard this, take take a listen. This is this is from the episode that Sal posted a couple days ago. A night in the mirror. What? What the fuck is a fucking picture? It's a it's a oh. baby bunny with a weird it, what it looks to be a mustache. Yeah, I was about to say like what the it's fuck? Still, it's really cute. It's it's gross and cute in the at the same time. I think it's just oh. cute. Sorry, I'm still, I'm still going over this. Are you, are you <sighs> that intro? Uh, I haven't yet. No, hold on a second. Fucking... Oh man. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna make it. Sure, hope not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I. I. Is that you? What me humming? No. The, oh, the, the boys? No, that's acapella group. Uh, text to speech. Oh, excellent. That's uh, that's um, Will Nokia. being quiet. I think the boy's name is. Yeah. So see Shit that that uh. I like that opening though. Yeah. That's see, that's, that's that neat. uh that gives indication of uh. What the fuck people are in for? Yeah. Listen, man, this podcast is about nothing. Uh, it's, it's all people need to know. Now enjoy this terrible show. La 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 la. Kick, 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 kick. Kick. Top kick. Like StarCraft. Top kick. Fucking. People still Top play StarCraft? Kick. I don't. Uh, no, I've never played StarCraft. Mm. Used to be a good game. I. Chris loves it. That's the thing. Yep. So you know the you know the music bed we have on the show the little SpongeBob music going on in the background. Yeah. I started um like I, I have it on right now. I started putting it on the background as we talk because it really gets me in the mood. <laughs> what kind of mood? 
like the SpongeBob mood. kind of mood. Uh, yeah, oh. podcast mood. What's you know what I mean? It feel it, it makes it feel more like the podcast I'm in the Squidward. moment, right? So uh, I, I put on the music in the background. I'm like, okay, all right. Stick your pinky out like this. Now that's when fancy. Out, pinky out. They should call you SpongeBob it. Fancy Pants. I don't need it. I, doubt, I definitely don't need it. I doubt people enjoy listening to this. You know, I really doubt it. I, I don't enjoy listening to this. Yeah, but that's you. You don't enjoy listening to anything. I, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy listening to like people say things. Do you? Just not say dumb things? Bull- what kind of things? What just, kind of things should we say? What kind of things? Um, The calculus level of the infibrator is... Oh, you want to talk indu- about that? <laughs> Infibrator? <laughs> Indubitably. Oh my gosh. Oh. Just... I was just reading about differential forms earlier and their oh, geometric a- uh, applications. Damn. Yeah. I learned you know, about the quadratic formula. You know how I feel about <laughs> college words, so. Oh. I'm feeling too arithmetic for you. <laughs> arithmetic? You're so. Huh. <laughs> quite so, quite so. Yeah. Uh, what, what things do you like to listen to people talk to them? Talk about. Um, hold on, I gotta do a thing. Wow. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm sorry, I gotta do a thing. It sounds like you're eating. I'm not eating. It I sounds have, like it. I have pills in between my lips. Hold on. So you are eating? Mm mm. Eating pills. Consuming, I think, would be the. Ingesting. Proper. Yeah, ingesting. Acquiring I'm sustenance. Ta- I'm taking pills. Taking. What flavor? Oh my gosh. I don't you know. consume what pills. You know, speaking of flavor, I have a question to ask both of you, and I'm very curious yeah. what you think of it. <laughs> I was gonna auto put your question. Uh, mango. That's my answer. <laughs> no. Does water have a flavor? <laughs> oh. Yeah, water flavor. Yeah, it's tasting. Like, it probably tastes like water. No. Okay, I don't agree. It's because, a flavor. No, but water doesn't taste like anything. It's, it's so it doesn't have a flavor. If water didn't taste like anything, then you wouldn't realize that you're drinking water, like while you're tasting it. Like, it obviously has a flavor because like if you fucking drink Dasani, you're like this water tastes like okay, shit. Okay. Okay. But does air have a flavor? Yeah. Um, kind of. Yeah. You can tell. You can tell you that never, you're, you never you're like air you never right walk now. into it. You never like step into a, a musty house and like, ooh. Well, ooh, yeah. No, I mean, you could you could air. smell that. That's different. That's odor. But... but no, but you can taste it in the air. Yeah, but I'm saying that like when you if when your you go... nose wasn't working, you could taste it in the air. Like right now, if well, there's actually, no you odor, could, you need your nose in order to taste. I'm gonna give you a taste. I'm sorry. Continue, Sal. If there are no. Uh... If there are no odors in your in your room right now, and you you were trying to taste the air, it wouldn't taste like anything, right? That's like water. Water doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't have a flavor. It's just water. Well, nothing. A taste having nothing requires some notion of a definition, right? You need to define what nothing would taste like, right? Because it's a sensation. So, so our default, without having anything placed on our tongue, I guess we would call nothing. Therefore, it's just air making contact with the tongue, and we define that as nothing. That's our base, right? Then anything else we could coin as a flavor, okay? So it, it depends on your... You need a standard basis is what they would use as a term in linear algebra. Yeah, have a base. Don't talk okay. math at me, okay? I don't, I don't All know. right, so you need you need some reference frame. What What is defined as, as nothing? Nothing placed on your tongue is just you... In a room with your mouth open, breathing out of your mouth like a neck beard, with nothing on your tongue. <laughs> is that is that is that what we're defining as nothing for flavor for for your tongue? I think so. Yeah, you don't okay. taste anything. There's no then flavor. okay, so we'll work from there, right? Okay, so okay. that's that's our reference frame. Nothing. The flavor of nothing is just breathing with your mouth open. Okay, um, if that's the case then yes, I would say water has a flavor because it is different from that sensation of what we deemed just now as nothing. And I use, I'm use i doing air quotes right now with my fingers. It depends on the water you drink, though, doesn't it, as well? I mean, yeah. every every water every water you drink uh, <laughs> has has minerals. 
Yeah, yeah, hold on. Minerals provide flavor. Yeah, I, I, I have, uh, I have a thing here. I want you to take a bottle of Dasani, Nestle Pure Life, Evian, Aquafina, and Smart Water. Take them all. Well, I all guarantee they flavors. all. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Well, Dasani always tastes like something. I don't really like the way it tastes like. But the other ones have a different taste too. I guess, yeah. Now, and also, when you say water, does water have a flavor? Well, there's a lot of different pro types of processed water. So again, we need some sort of reference point. So is when you say water in general, are we talking <laughs> distilled pure water that is what completely... are you doing <laughs> i've i just i just don't think when i think water i don't think flavor i don't think anything it just tastes so plain does that make sense i think i think it it does i don't think it doesn't have a flavor i think that its flavor is not very it's uh, bland strong it's not very palpable it's bland Palpable? Yeah. Palpable. What does that mean? This is raw! It's, it's fucking rotten. raw! It's rotten! I've eaten here! <laughs> you don't even <laughs> want to add to the conversation. You, you just want to say donut. nothing. That's, what, that's one of my favorite quotes from Kitchen Nightmares, where he gets so pissed. I've eaten here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, from that one episode. Um, that fucking port that uh, Dylan's yeah. the Ch Indian place. Yeah, the stuff was rotten. He's like, I've eaten here. I've eaten here. Man, that was, that show's great. I love that show. That's uh, such a great show. I need to watch more Gordon Ramsay shit because he's <laughs> very entertaining. <laughs> oh my god, I was, I was watching one today while I was at work. The one where um, he yells uh, at the uh, at all the patrons about the things the manager is doing. Yeah. And then when he leaves to go to the kitchen, he fucking hits himself on the door. <laughs> he hits himself on the door? Yeah, like he, he did this whole speech, and then when he hits himself on the fucking door, it ruins it. Because it's it's one of those ones where you have to pull, but he thought it was a push. So he walked right into it and fucking bonked his head. Oh, wow, and they kept that in, huh? <laughs> they kept it in! Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's... Let me find it. Oh, that's a good one. Let me let me find it here. Okay. All right. Gordon Ramsay hits his head. There it is. Hits hedge. What? Head. Okay. Well, then say head next time, and not head. I said head. You said hedge. I heard head. Oh my god. Thank you. Lemons. Why are you thanking me? For lemons. once, you agreed with me on something. I'm not agreeing with you. I'm stating an. Ob I'm, ma okay, I'm making Dick. observation. Whatever. I'm on the side of truth. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm blinking it right now. <laughs> you find it? There you go. I did. I linked it. Okay. Let me see. Let's see this. So he gives a good speech and then he fucking bonks. The owners serving this disgusting mess from chicken that's great. Slime, tomato. Off, gone. I have a slice of tomato! Fresh to a tomato sauce. Oh, oh my god, sauce. I'm embarrassed. I am not gonna sit oh. here and play party to that. Koala bean. And whilst I I'm watching it. <laughs> for you leaving your homes to come here tonight for dinner. I've got too much respect for you Mama and boy. too much respect for the industry. I am not <laughs> going to be part of this any longer. My sincere apologies. That's not a very graceful exit. No, it's not. <laughs> he just slams into the, into the door. I, like I can't believe they left it, it in. It was a pull, not a push. Yeah. Do they keep repeating? <laughs> That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I can't believe they left it in, though. Yeah, same it's here. A... Ah, uh, well, Gordon Ramsay always came off like a genuine guy, you know? Mm hmm He owns up to any mistakes. Mm hmm Unlike someone. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? 
What is it? Well, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. What is it supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? What mistakes have I, I made? What is it supposed to mean? I wasn't talking about you. Are you sure about that? I was. Okay. You was? I was Wait, so sure were? that I was kosher. Okay. <laughs> is this, has it been an hour yet? <laughs> Almost. Oh, thank God. No, our, oh our, our, new, God. our new time frame is uh, two hours. Two, we got to do this Damn. for another hour and ten minutes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I can't, I, I, there's no way I can do this for another hour. They're eating her. And they're going to eat me. Like, what? What, are, what are we going to Oh, my God. Fine. What do you want to talk about? Okay. Um, what are you guys doing for the holidays? You Yay! know, I. I That's wanted I wanted to actually like talk about Christmas stuff in general since Well there we go. Now yeah. here we are. Perfect. I brought it up, not you. Well, well fucking congratulations, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Give a fuck, who cares? Such hmm. a child. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope you're the least favorite character out of the three of us. I probably am. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Nobody should like you. I really hope I am the least favorite. I really, you know, I, I, I encourage it. If whoever's listening to this, you guys hate me. It's perfect. I'll be the fucking bane of this fucking podcast. You are. That's how it is. We're gonna get some merch. It's gonna be a picture of my face. It's gonna be called the bane. The bane, like Can Batman. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dub myself the bane. No, Batman is just bane. I'm gonna be the bane. You know I adapted the darkness. I was born for it. Made it by it. You definitely are the Bane. I'll say that. See? There we go. It's gonna just be the Bane. Not you know fucking I adapted the delicious Bane. pickles. Well, I, I made Batman. the delicious pickles. You don't pickles. know goddamn Batman Bane. You fucking love Batman. Fucking shit on Batman's face. What are you even saying? <laughs> what are you going Anyways. on about? I sat on Batman's face. <laughs> Anyways, what's it going to do for the holidays? Anyone having a good time? Anyone got some good stuff planned? Uh, you know, it's any going to be face plan? It's going to be a mundane holiday, that's for sure. However. I get to eat delicious, delicious mother cooked meals. So that's Why always a plus. Why is it mundane? Um, you know, Christmas now, I mean, uh, not not going home to see the extended family. Just going to be uh, here with my immediate family uh, okay. in Florida. And um, Florida. Yeah, that's that's where Gross. I currently reside. Yeah, I wasn't. Oh, I thought you lived in Texas. Wish I was back in Texas. I miss those wide <laughs> open skies. <laughs> I miss my 20 acres. Barbecues and pecan, pecan pies. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, You're not no, so I far from you, Texas. <laughs> All I can do is cry. <laughs> Yodel lay <-o. laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, live in Florida. Funny. Yes, okay. <laughs> For how long? <laughs> I'm glad we got that sweet note. Yes. <laughs> how long have you lived in Florida? Uh, mm, I don't know that unit measurement. Uh, let's see. It came out What's here. A, to, uh, a little over a year. I want to say about a year and a half. Did you live in Texas a year and a half ago? I've never lived in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I think so. You seem to really wish you were back in Texas. I, I mean, I it's the prettiest where... place in the world. <laughs> it's just a song. <laughs> but your name is Dallas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Could she? <laughs> and so, your name's Sally. Are you from Salisgonia? 
That's I made that up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wish there was a place called Salisgonia. That's kind of. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, I was I was born and raised in New England. Where's that? That's where Massachusetts. Yeah, where oh. Well, I don't. It's I live on the New West Coast. Coast. I only know where like West Coast things are. Ah, where things what? on the West Coast? Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything you about the East Coast. What's you don't know any of the states on the East Coast? I know Rhode Island. I know New York. I know the. Not the Dakotas. I don't think Rhode Island is a state. It is a state. Is yes, it, a state? it is a state. It's the it's yes. Uh, New Hampshire. It's the smallest state. Might be one. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, there's also Virginia and West Virginia. That is not that is not New England. Oh, we're talking just East Coast in general. Yeah. Well, you wanted to know the yeah, states, yeah. right? No, so. the good, the good. Well, I want to know if you knew them. I didn't ask you to read them out. Is there. Ohio North, considered in the East? North Carolina. Huh? In South Carolina. Yeah, those are there. That's okay. Is Ohio is Ohio considered in the east? No, that is or Pennsylvania. Mid, that, is, that is mid. What what's between Midwest and East Coast? Texas. No. <laughs> see, yeah, yeah. How's it feel? Look at that. He, you cut him off, and you see that he did like a double take. It's nice hearing somebody else do that once in a while. Sorry, Dallas. Uh, what is it? It okay, nice so though. it's, uh, <laughs> it's just called Gosh. the Midwest. Ohio's Midwest. Okay. Do you just, and Pennsylvania as well. Do you just save all your memeing for like today? <laughs> you just don't bother to like do. No, your shit I have not anymore? saved all my memeing for just today because you know this I joined. A... I talked to you earlier this week. I was memeing on you then. Th this is just crunchy. Yeah, it's just me. She wasn't always like this. Do you, 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 I got comfortable. You, you, yeah, yeah, you did. You know, you know what it is. The honeymoon period's over, right? I mean, yeah. Crunchy, how long? How long have you been associated with uh, this trauma oh, day over here? Man, her, her best fucking, friend. Fuck, it's been since 2020. Yeah, it's been like a not oh. not even like late, but like fairly early. Okay, so two years. All right, then I don't mm -hmm. have an explanation. I was gonna say the honeymoon phase is over. You know that phase where it's like you you. You act more reserved and not like yourself in order to warm somebody up to your personality. I know. I've just, I've just gotten comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you get comfortable and it's like, oh my God, this is not the person I originally met. <laughs> You're a fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I'm not. I, Don't I, get me wrong. That, that, that's my strategy for deception as well. I noticed that too. Yes. Yeah. But you, you, I got used to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't. I'm not always like this. I'm sure you got used to me and my bitchiness at times. You know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No. I, lo I love your what attitude. Do you mean, I think no. it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think your attitude is great. I think it's perfect for back and forth and banter. Mm. Yeah. But at the same time, I know we can, you know, be normal and talk to each other like normal human beings and friends. Ah, how's it going? Yeah, because, you know, obviously, like, when we joke around and stuff like this, just, that's all it is, just joking. But we really do care about each other. Okay, so I'm staying home for Christmas. I'm not going to see my extended family. I got too mushy, but, I guess. <laughs> all right. And so it, it's just it's going to be uneventful. Uh don't really have any presents to exchange because we She's trying to talk we went to the bahamas no it's fine it's it's like a music bed um what's a music bed and it's like something you have the, it's like something you have in the background play alongside with uh oh, okay. yeah um and so because we went to the bahamas that was the pretty much the family uh present so okay. that, that was the substitute for um well, that's good then. You, you see yeah. the whole you saw the whole family at the Bahamas, and then you know, well, you're supposed to still spend not, time. Not the whole family, the immediate family. The whole family. Yeah, whole not, family. I have to be right no like, the, like whole milk. You know, <laughs> whole milk is only three percent. Did you know that? I, yeah, I did actually. I thought when I heard that for the first time, I was kind of like fucked up. It's like, how is this three percent? I thought it was supposed to be whole milk. Shouldn't it be a hundred percent? 
I want 100% fat. Yeah, like, what the fuck? I guess that's kind of just butter, isn't it? I just imagine it's just a fat, giant piece of cellulite that you plop down on a table. That's that. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. just pure adipose tissue. <laughs> yeah, can I, I like some of the whole milk from my cereal, please. <laughs> it, just... <laughs> it just slowly slides out of the container that it's in. It just oh. plops into your bowl and spews cereal everywhere. Oh, it's fucking gross. Thud. Oh, it's, it's like, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a fucking... Someone just took a gnarly, milky turd. Like, not even lard is 100% fat. Really? How much it's fat not. is in lard? Hmm. Lard... Let me look this up. Lard fat percentage. 45% fat. Yeah. Lard is 45... Oh, holy shit. Well, some some of it can be 56 to 62, but it's still not 100. I mean, if it was 100%, it would just be... Like, they wouldn't do anything to it. Maybe they would whip it up and put it in a can or something, but... I'm gonna look it, it up. What does 100% fat look like? It's just a big yellow piece of tissue. Straight from the animal. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Jesus. Fucking. I'm just not. I, I just don't understand why we call it whole milk. Yeah. It's whole milk. The whole milk is all together. It's not really. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there any other milk? Isn't it like 4% milk? Uh, they, I've never heard of it. 4% milk. Is that just whole er milk? Oh no, 4% full cream milk. Oh. So coffee creamer could be yeah. interesting. Or like heavy cream. Heavy cream is pretty high in fat, so. Mm hmm I've tried drinking that straight. It's not good. It leaves a residue on your on your tongue. Yeah, apparently if you make get the milk organic, it's closer to four percent, like whole milk. It's actually organic like milk. Organic whole milk is closer to four percent? Yeah, it's three point eight. Huh, I might be getting some organic, uh, some organic milk. There you go, get some fucking, there you go. I actually, I prefer 2%. I like, you know, I was a 2%er my, my whole life. And then, mm. and then I was exposed to whole milk and I'm like, I feel like I was standing up my whole life and I finally sat down. It's amazing. Uh, is it? I can't I've... go back. Anything below whole milk is just water to me i had an argument with someone about that because i was like i drink two percent milk or i have two percent milk with my cornflakes and everything i'm like that's just water i'm like it's not it's two percent milk i would I argue mean, that one percent milk is a lot closer to water uh, by comparison is what i'm saying yeah. like like, like, like drink a glass of whole milk and then drink mm -hmm. a glass of two percent there's a there's a stunning difference between the two I don't really think I've actually drank whole milk. Or you yeah, it give it a try. You'll yeah. be like, oh my god, this is heavy. My family's always bought 2% milk, it's, so it's, it's gone to the point where every time I buy milk myself, I always get 2% now. Yeah, you know what? Here, here's what here's what you should do, right? Um, mm -hmm. Before before next week's show, okay? Just okay. go to the store, gra grab a little guy, like a pint of whole milk. You know, you don't have to buy a whole gallon. Uh, a, just just a buy pint, a little thing. A gallon? What the fuck are you talking about? I live in Canada. Okay. Uh, buy, <laughs> I don't know. Buy something less than a liter. What do you have? Half liters over there? Uh, well, sometimes you can get like uh, little things of 331 milliliters. Okay. All right. So get get a get something that would give you approximately one glass. Okay. 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 Of whole milk. And then and then I assume you already have 2% in the house. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So grab that little thing of whole milk, pour mm -hmm. a glass of whole milk, and then pour a glass of 2%. Actually, well, let's do this on the show. Better yet. Um, okay, you know what? I'll save it for the show. When we go on yeah. Friday, next and then Friday, we'll, I'll do, we'll like do a it. comparison. You'll be like, huh? Or maybe you won't be like, huh? Okay. That'll yeah. be good for a two minute bit. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Get a mil milk taste. Oh yeah, milk, milk taste is 2% by uh, water by comparison to whole milk. I'll give uh, it some 2%. 2% of this ass. 
just be warned. Most people I know that that drink whole milk for the first time, they, uh, you know, you know, you know, what? the phrase once you go black, you know, it's, it's you never it's, go uh, back. Yeah. Once you go whole, you want to walk never, the bowl. You're you're, you're you, know, you, shit. Gotta, you gotta fulfill your soul. You fulfill your soul with the whole. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. good, good hole fulfilling. Mm. Yeah. What did I come to back fill to? My hole. Oh fulfill my gosh. hole. What? Or can you fulfill my hole with your milk? <laughs> <laughs> That's an eyebrow razor. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, we were it talking is. about milk and like the difference between two percent and whole. Yeah, milk. I'm like, okay. Oh, well. she just has bag We're, milk. That's that doesn't that's not <laughs> indicative of the content of the milk. Yeah, it's That's still two percent in a bag. In. Yeah, Holy it's still two percent. It's still in the bag, though. Fuck it, it's two percent. But uh, la, 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 la. But yeah, look you, at have you had whole milk, Sal? Um, I don't know. I've had two percent. I think. You never had whole milk? I don't think so. Okay. Well, you know what? You both can do this, Sal. Next time you go to the store, grab a little tiny guy of whole milk. And then on the show, you're both going to pour one glass of whole milk and one glass of 2%. And you're going to do a comparison right there. And we're going to get your thoughts on the matter. I thought 2% was whole milk. No, 2% is not whole milk. 2% is 2% milk. Yes. Wait. You're telling me that whole milk is 98% more milk? No. <laughs> we were just talking about this. <laughs> whole milk is 3% milk. Yeah. Then it's not whole milk. I don't. I don't know. That's what we we're know. talking about. We're we're fucked up because of it. It's blowing my mind too, honestly. Uh, first of all, no food can be called a different kind of food if it's 100% fat, because then it would just be called fat. Yeah. Okay. 100% milk is just fat. It's no. It's not anything else. It's fat. Fat. It, 100% just put fat is fat. 100% of anything is itself. <laughs> yeah. 100% milk. Just put in the cereal. Just. Mm, I made some good fat with my cornflakes. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, we'll do we'll do a comparison. We'll do we'll do a comparison then. Okay, that sounds like yeah. a plan. My personal cool. favorite milk is uh, is zero percent. Your milk. What? You are milk. <laughs> I'm milk. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. The Anyways, get to the we point kind of deviated. Yeah, I was about to say we kind of deviated. So at least you get to see your what immediate you mean? family and have some no, time. No, 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 no. You don't get to say that. We did not deviate. You deviated me. Who? You, <laughs> Crunchy. <Me? laughs> I didn't deviate. Anything. Yeah, I was like, I, I kept talking about we didn't bring the whole family. You're like, oh, whole milk. I'm like, okay, all right, we're talking about whole milk now. Fine, let's go. That's exactly what happened. I want to roll it back. That's why, you don't, don't, that's why you don't buy into his shit. Just ignore it. Well, to be fair, I, I wanted to talk about milk a little bit, so. Okay, well, well, that's where you get, to, you get to spend time with some immediate family and everything. It's still nice, right? Yeah, you know, it's just just mundane. It's not it's not an event, per se. Don't act like you know how to talk normally, Crunchy. What? I know how to talk normally. I do. You know I talk normally all the time. Normally. I talk normally all the time. That's what my job is. I deal with people. Fucking nonsense people, but I talk to them. It's a fake thing you're doing, though. I thought the real Maybe you. Go what? That's the real me about what? When you talk to those people you're helping, it's not really you, though. It is really me. It's I don't know what you're talking the, about. It is me. On you. They still put on me. They uh, put the jacket on me. Uh, but it called me Barbarian Murr. Barbarian Murr. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what are you doing for the holidays, Ingrid? Well, my family wants me to go to their house on uh, Sunday, but I don't know if I want to do that. What else are you going to do? Stay at home. I'm most comfortable at home. Yeah, you don't want to see your family? I do. But going places, it's just a matter of comfort. I have a lot of weird, like, health problems and anxiety. And those two together really suck. So I'm most comfortable in my room. And when I go out and, like, 
it it's a risk because then I'm I'm there I'm stuck there for two three four five hours mm -hmm. and if I start to freak out or feel uncomfortable or my heart rate goes up or just anything go wrong well I'm gonna be stuck there I won't be able to go to my room and like chill and just feel start to calm myself down I don't know mm -hmm. I'd rather just be at home mm, yeah that's understandable yeah we need a comfort zone mm -hmm. yeah. just take a horse tranquilizer yeah that works yeah you know, if you guys bring some chloroform, just in case. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, chloroform looks pretty good. Uh, you should give it a good smell. See what it, uh, we'll see what happens. Um. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering, how does chloroform work? Um. I don't know. I think what you do is you put the lime in the coke and then you drink it all up. If you don't know, just fucking say you don't know. <laughs> what the long pause there? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know how it works. Like, what, is it like a chemical reaction that goes on when you uh, smell it and it just knocks you the fuck out? What happens yeah, if you? What happens if somebody ties that to your nose yeah. and then and then they they don't take it off? Do you, do you never wake up? The only thing I know about chloroform is that it's a trichloromethane or methane. Uh, I'm looking it up right now. It's HCCl3 or CHCl3, however, whatever convention you want to go by, chemists out there. Oh, An yeah. inhalation of chloroform vapors may lead to symptoms such as shortness of breath and dryness of the mouth and throat. Ingestion can cause burning sensation in the mouth and throat, nausea, and vomiting. Mm. Wait, so it doesn't knock you out? Is that just a movie thing? I think so. Huh. I'm going to assume that you ask how chloroform capacity. Chloroform depresses a person's... Chloroform depresses a person's central nervous system. Yeah, the catch is that it makes it seem like chloroform knocks you out right away. You actually have to inhale the fumes for at least five minutes to lose consciousness. <laughs> I love it when, like, shows and movies, you know, they're bullshit. Yeah, the second they put the cloth over them, they're out. Yeah. In the movies, yeah. Uh, apparently that's not how it works. Apparently it yeah, takes no about five minutes. Well, I do shit, but that's, apparently that's not how it works. Hmm. Not, like, not even the most powerful anesthetics will put you out until like 10 seconds you know in the movies it's like ah, two seconds they're out okay easy peasy yeah i remember that thing from like the simpsons what well they did in the simpsons where you know the whore does it to marge and gets another dance with her it's in the episode where they have the who come in he date the, rapes oh, marsh with marge. old springfield and new springfield yeah it was in that episode I've never, I, I've never, I don't really watch The Simpsons. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know much about The Simpsons. Ba -ba -ba. Sorry. Chloroform has certainly been used in the real world, but many of those instances resulted in death, not just knocking a person out. Well, there you go. So, That's terrible. So, for some people, if you do it to knock them out, you will definitely do it, and they will never get up again. Why isn't that just prime? Crunchy, what are you doing for the holidays? Uh, well, considering I'm in a fucking... You got Boxing Day, don't you? Shitty-ass storm right now. I can't really do much. I was supposed to, you know, grab my son from his Nana's today. And bring him over. That way, you know, you obviously be home for Christmas. Um, that didn't fucking happen. Because I can't even fucking leave the driveway. So... You know. What province are you in? You're not in. Are you Ontario. In? No, no, but like the the province. Ontario. Ontario. What, there, there's. I thought there. I thought Ontario was a was a like a city. No, Ontario is a province. Oh, okay. What's next? What's the right of Saskatchewan? Manitoba. Manitoba. Thank you. Yeah. Ontario is the uh, is to the right of uh, Manitoba, Manitoba, right? Manitoba. Yes. Okay. And to the left of Newfoundland, Newfoundland. Yeah, Newfoundland's the, the one. Newfoundland's the one all the way to the right. Okay. 
I haven't brushed up on my Canadian geography in a while. But uh, yeah, because there's, there's giant ass storm, I can't do anything. So I'm probably going to be stranded here for Christmas instead, which sucks because I have his gift right here and I want to see him open it. Where'd you get him? I got him Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, that's nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good gift. Yeah, he really, you know, he's really, really into Mario and he's watched the commercials for it on TV. And he really wants it, and you know, I haven't gotten it for him for a while, you know. You know. Mm -hmm. Last game I got him was Crash Bandicoot, and he doesn't really seem to enjoy it, but at the same time he does. I don't know. Mm. Well, did you we... get him the Insane Trilogy? I did. Oh. You should get him the he... OG, that's the best one. Oh, that's... that's OG the... number two is the best one. No, that's what the Insane Trilogy is. It's no, like the no, first, no, 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 no. First, second, and third. No, 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 no. Yeah. They play vastly different. Oh, fast listen. difference. Fast <laughs> difference. Don't listen to him. <laughs> listen, it's fast no, difference. No, they are not. They are but not. He... They are not one to one controls. Ice levels are make that very evident. But OK, but here's the thing with Crash Bandicoot and my son. He loves the way it plays. He likes controlling crash he likes yeah. the way everything looks he just can't fucking do it do what it's a hard game oh it is and this ain't your granny's game yeah and when i got it for him like fucking months ago he wanted it and i was like you know this is a hard game right like you're not gonna go i was like i want it i, want it. I really want it it's like all right i'll get it for you but don't cry literally the first fucking day he cries you know what and he'll he's gonna come back to it when he gets older and he's gonna be like huh okay yeah. he'll he'll appreciate it when he gets a little older yeah uh, crash bandicoot for like youngins is not it's not yeah it's it's easy. not like he went on to like play crash bandicoot warped for example and you know where the dinosaur chases you and you're running towards the yes. screen he hated that he hated it so much he he, he, he wanted me to do it for him because he was panicking uh-huh I don't blame him. That's kind of it is pretty panic inducing. Yeah. So I was like, oh, man. Whatever. That was the last game I got him, and that was like like early in the year. Hmm. Uh, usually I've been kind of, you know, just. Did you I just kind of take him off, please. Well, I gave him my Switch. Give but him I, like, Mario Kart. I didn't, like, I didn't buy him a new Switch. I gave him my Switch, and my Switch already had Mario Kart on it. Nice. I would play this shit out of some Mario Kart right now. Yeah. So, like, when I gave him the Switch, he already had Mario Kart, so I worked That's out. what we should do. We should do, like, an episode where we're playing Mario Kart. What the hell is Mario? <laughs> that's what we should do. We should play an episode where we're playing Mario Kart. I mean, I, that's fine, but I just don't know what Mario is. You know what it is. No. Yes. Mario. Mar I don't know. No. But he's super into Mario right now. Like he was Mario for oh, Halloween. Oh, Mario! Yeah, fuck you. Mario. Yeah, he was. Okay. He's super okay. into. He was Mario for Halloween. You no, know, he had the fake mustache and everything. It was hilarious. Mustache. Yeah, mustache yo. But yeah, so he's been wanting Super Mario RC forever. So I decided, you know what? This year I'll finally give it him. Good. He'll enjoy that. That's a fun. That's a fun yeah. little romp of a game. It's a massive yeah. game too. So he'll have a good mm -hmm. time. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, a good time. I, unfortunately, he'll have to wait because I can't give it to him because of the goddamn storm. That's fine. I mean, does he have his switch with him? It does. Hmm. He does have a switch with him. So you know, I get so like I said, I gave him my switch, which was like the one with the Joy Cons and everything, and I then I got myself uh, I got myself the Switch Lite. So, he gets the official thing, and I get the small one. That works out. <clears throat> I trade with him. I mean, the the switch light would be better for a kid. You know, it's lighter. I like it. I've literally gave it to him to let him play, and he doesn't prefer his. Oh, okay. Fair so, enough. You know. Excuse me, one moment. I need to expel urine from the urethra of my penis. <laughs> On your vast deference. Oh man. 
Oh, that's some good shit. I didn't even understand oh. what he said except for the like expel or expand urine or He's whatever. He's expelling urine from his penis. Yeah, well, I, yeah, he didn't say penis though. He said except. He, he, he said a different word. Well, whatever he said, it basically his penis. It's releasing, it's releasing the urine, the toxic waste from his we, body. We we all know how how urine <laughs> wait, like urinating works, Crunchy. Do we know how urinating works? We do know how it works. You see, when your when your toxins get flushed through the kidneys, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you're gonna get all scientific and doctory on me, huh? Go ahead. Uh, absolutely. Well, I don't know what it is. What you like listen to? We didn't. You never answered us that. Answered what? No, you said whenever you listen to podcasts or whatever, you like to listen to certain things, and we didn't know what you, you know what things you like oh, to listen to. Oh, certain things. Yeah. What kind of things do you like to listen to? Oh, lots of stuff. Uh, that really narrows it down. <laughs> like, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I don't. To be fair, I don't really listen to podcasts. I, I listen. I, what do you just like to listen to? Um, when people are talking, what do they talk about? The weather. It's fucking raw. The Pokemon cards. Uh, you oh. know, um, history mm. of of certain. Things, certain subjects, okay. TV shows, movies, games, you know, okay. usual YouTube shit that's like nice to listen to. There's this one, there's this one YouTuber I, I like to watch, um, Square Eyed Jack, and he does he does these like two to three hour long videos of like reviewing every single level of a series. You know, like he'll review every level of Spyro the Dragon or every level of Crash Bandicoot or Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and that's give him like a rating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 doesn't review them. He he uh, he he rates them from best to worst. And some of these have like 80 something levels. So it, he goes he go he painstakingly goes through every single level of these games mm. uh, in, in the video, you know, giving them each a rank. It's crazy. I see. Okay. But anyway, well, that's like, interesting. It's well, yeah, it is, but it's mostly just good for like when you need to work, like what I'm doing now. You know, mm -hmm. just it's good for. You're working right now. Yeah, I've been working the whole time. Well, we're having a podcast. Yeah, I mean, like, what else am I gonna do? Sit here and twiddle my thumbs. That's what I've been doing. Well, that's boring. I've been enjoying the conversation. Oh, I'm with not. my friend. I, I want this to end. My I've God. just been playing with my testicles. <laughs> <laughs> it must be nice. I thought you were playing with your vast deafness. That's Wait, you did know what he said. Part. You did know what he said. <laughs> what? I didn't. I said that. Oh. What? She wants to know what you said before you left about where I said I urinated. needed to expel urine from the urethra of my penis. Oh, you did. Oh, okay, see? you did say penis. Then. I didn't think you did. It's because I heard Crunchy say vest, vest. What is it? Deference. What's, what vast is deference. That? What is that? It's, it's uh, vastly it's a, deference. It's a part of your testicle. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you know, when things are vastly different, they're vast different. Did you wash your hands? Say no. <laughs> Listener, I'll let you decide. Did I wash my hands? <laughs> Find out next week. On Dragon Ball Z! When are we going to talk about that next week? Da, 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 da. I will. I'll we probably remember. won't even do a podcast next week because... Why you know, not? Because we don't do them every week. We're supposed to, but we don't. <laughs> you way too, that's like 10 minutes too late <laughs> Sorry, I had to find the hotkey Here we go, hang on Last time on A Night in the Burrow Dallas Stop. had to go take a massive piss But did he wash his hands? We'll find out on this episode of The Night Fast in the friends. Burrow <laughs> oh Gosh <laughs> You know, I don't care what anyone says The the American soundtrack for Dragon Ball Z goes That's a, so hard. Oh, I, I honestly, when I started rewatching that, I was kept, I kept finding, trying to find a place to actually play it because I like crunch all yeah. had this and then, but it only had the Japanese soundtrack. And I'm yeah. like, I don't want to listen to that shit. Which, by the way, well, hang on, I, I love the Japanese soundtrack. Don't get me wrong, I, I think it's fantastic, but yeah. I just don't like Hugh Janus. Okay. <laughs> You ever just derail a conversation? <laughs> she typed in our Discord chat here. Yeah. 
Janus as if it's a name. Like Jack Mihoff or uh, or Dixie Wreck. Or Buster Hyman. Or Sherwood Lovehead. How about Stargazer? That's one. Okay. Not, not, a, not a funny one, but I don't want Not really an innuendo, oh, but yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Um, <laughs> Jesus. But I, I'm sick and tired for the disdain of the American soundtrack. It's good. It suits the content so well. Now, if you put it, it that does. soundtrack on the original Dragon Ball, I would say, okay, this is a little weird. Doesn't make much it. sense. Oh, but Dragon Ball Z is like more sci-fi oriented, so it fits better. Oh man, like when fucking Gohan kills Cell, oh, the American soundtrack goes hard. Oh yeah. Fucking rocks. Oh, that was great though. That was fucking great. I, I hate how much I... You, Jadis. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers, by the way. Like, what if somebody hasn't seen, you know, Dragon Ball Z? Oh, they've only had three decades. <laughs> Don't ruin it for people. Oh, uh, uh, Megatron died. Megatron? <laughs> Megatron died. <laughs> even in that show <laughs> i think that's the joke <laughs> Jeez, <Louise. sighs> you i'm good? so fucking <laughs> dumb oh great right. that was all mwah, outside the chef's kiss a bon appetit Mm, Mama, very man. nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In other words, it was really stupid and pointless. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Jeez Louise. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jeez Louise. Louise isn't here. Who is Louise and why does she jeez? Cheese? Jeez. Queez. Give it a good queef. <laughs> <laughs> You are Canadian. <laughs> ah, I got quaff. Got quaff. Got quaff, Oh, man. <laughs> what were we talking about before that really had Sal gross? Oh, I remember. Oh, what's the cheese? <laughs> don't, please. No, don't. What? Don't, no, please. <laughs> don't start with that. The, nobody, oh, need, nobody oh, listening ever needs to hear that. Oh man! Give me the Cliff Notes version. No. Uh, it well, it involves something that you've already done within the last like what was it five minutes ago? Pissing? How? How yeah. in the world does that involve that? It involves the uh, pr reproductive system. What? Are you talking about dick cheese? No. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> Ew. Oh, like, can we not? I mean, I won't go into it any further. I was just, that was my guess. No, I mean, I didn't <laughs> think you would. I just don't want to talk about it. <sighs> well, in this day and age, it's not nearly as pre prevalent because uh, most people, people wash. wash. Yeah. Yes. It's important to wash yourself. Yes. And not just use, you know, fucking Axe spray. That's not washing yourself. Yes. Do you know somebody that's, that's done that? Uh, they used to do that in the fucking change rooms, didn't they? In the what? Well, don't they still do it? What, at, at school? Yeah. I mean, like, after gym class, nobody really... No, I, I don't know a single individual that would shower. They would just, you know, they would just take a towel, wipe off the sweat, and then coat themselves in axe. Yeah, they fucking... And you could smell it, and it's fucking... My God. That's the whole point. Was it you're supposed to spray in the air and walk into it? Um, I don't know. I fucking I can't, I don't guess. Know. But you used to fucking smell it in the hallways. These fucking guys are like, yeah, they it's pretty gross. Bla they blasted themselves with a fucking spray uh, spray can. It's like, holy shit, tone it down. Oh, I don't like this. What? What? Oh, man!
Oh boy, what is What it? are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a... Uh, I'm in this server, right, with a, with a bunch of buddies, and we mm -hmm. have a... Um, we have a channel there called Actually Unsafe Stupid Shit, where we post oh. stupid, not safe for work things that are not sexy or not, you know. Mm -hmm. we, we specifically had to make that channel to, dist to distinguish it from the actual good not safe for work stuff. Um, and one of them just posted this video of a guy with a micro penis just jerking off his little tiny dick and coming, and it's not. It's not. Well, don't post it here, video. please. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Don't, don't, don't post it here? Don't. Don't. Okay, I won't. I don't know who would want to see that, but it certainly isn't uh, me. Maybe Crunchy. Oh, I, yeah, I, I'd be into that. Oh my gosh. All right, there you go, Crunchy. Enjoy that. Take a look at this. Why? What the fuck is this? Oh my god, what the fuck? It's teeny tiny little wiener. Yeah. Teeny tiny little wiener. And just just wait. Just fucking there it goes. Shoots yeah. out. Jesus Christ. Weren't we talking about something? <laughs> Weren't we? Um, we were talking about Louis? something. Whoop! Wrong channel. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> fucking hilarious! <laughs> oh man, I don't have time to save it. Oh man. No, I, I I meant to send it to you, and I put it in this channel by accident. Oh, You're so God. full of shit. That was an accident. It was. I hit the back button. That's thought, hilarious. That was that was totally by mistake. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Could you some relish? I will relish this moment. Oh. You know. Relishing the moment and using relish, it's vastly different. Vastly different. Vastly different. <laughs> so, what's your what, what are your what are your favorite Christmas movies? Home Alone. Well, yeah. Die Hard. That's not a Christmas movie. Die Hard is a Christmas uh, movie. Don't don't you dare. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It, Little it happens isn't, isn't. on Christmas. Yeah, but that that there's nothing. Well, it's a Christmas movie. It happens on Christmas. I mean, Bruce Willis himself came out and he's like, "Listen, everyone out there, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie." And there I'm like, I don't think you have the authority to say so. Yeah, I think that's the fucking producer has to say that. Or director. Either way, it's not. Yeah, it's a Christmas movie. It's not. It's not. Not my problem. <laughs> All right, there you go, Squidward. Squid knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Squiddy. I'm Squidward. Where about Squidward? Um, I mean, I I like watching Elf. Elf is a classic. I would like to see that again, actually. Yeah. I just watched it the other day. Oh, I know cool. people probably find it annoying as a Will Ferrell, but I I think Elf is. What's wrong? What's wrong with Phil Werrell? Some people don't like him. I think he's great. Uh, Some people think he's obnoxious. Good. You're obnoxious, but I still hang out with you. Yeah. See, Fun well, fact. that's what I'm talking about. You are we? Okay. Dumb fuck. Whoa. Fun fact. <laughs> no. Fun fact. Fun fact. I love not... you. There is not a single Will Ferrell movie that does not feature him um, taking his pants off at some point in the movie. Every one of them has him taking his pants every off? Every single one of him, every single one of them depicts him either in his underwear or taking off his pants. Oh, yeah, there is that scene in Elf, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. Every single walking. one. If you find one, if anyone out there actually finds one, please let me know because that, that's an anomaly. My God. I got one for you, a Stranger Than Fiction. Is that the one that he was like in a storybook? He, he's in a, uh, yeah, so somewhat, yeah, but not a yeah, story. Yeah, he did take off his pants. When? I, I At some point in the movie, because I distinctly remember pointing out this fact to you 
when we were watching it. I'm like, I'm like, oh, there, here's another evidence that there's okay, always well, okay. a. Well, let's say you're right. I'm gonna assume you're right, because I okay. actually don't know for sure. But uh, you know what? Okay. Uh, how about uh, oh, what's that one where, where he's just like he's just outside on on his front yard the whole movie. What movie is that? That's a good one. Uh, honestly, well, I wouldn't say. Well, I don't know. It's different. Uh, what's, it, what's it called? Port Will? What is that? What is it? What movie Port is that? Will. Uh, no, it's a movie. Oh man, I don't remember the name. Let me let me just Google. Uh, okay. Let me Google Will Ferrell and find out what movie it is. Phil Werrell. You're not gonna find anything with that unless there is a Phil Werrell who's famous. But... Yeah, Phil Werrell Twitter. I, I love Will Ferrell. I think he, he's he's one of my favorite actors for for comedy. He's no, he's a good guy. Yeah, apparently he's also very humble. Like uh, he doesn't really use his money to buy expensive clothes and all that. Apparently he's still got like an old cell phone he's using that's all taped up because he doesn't uh -huh. spend his money. Hmm. It's all confirmed by Kevin Hart. It's called Everything Must Go. Never seen it. <clears throat> well, Wait. I bet you he doesn't. He isn't in his underwear in that. We'll have to find out now, won't we? I'm down to watch that. I'll watch that. Not a comedy, though. It's not? Well, I mean, I wouldn't. I guess it is, but it's really a lot more grounded. Does it take your pants off in Zoolander? Yeah. Probably. Actually. But that's not, that's not a Will Ferrell movie. Technically, no, it's not. He just stars. Yeah, I'm, I'm mainly talking about mo like Will Ferrell movies, not movies that he's featured in, per se. Um, you know what I mean? I'm talking about see. like where he's the he's, he's the, uh, the titular he's a main character. OK. <laughs> he's an El Presidente. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Where's the Gabagoo? Is this the anthem for I thought the podcast is over? <laughs> no, it's, you said is El it? Presidente. Oh, how we could, we can end know. it now if you want, if you really want to. Oh, of course I, I want to. Oh. 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 My nose. Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> banana. 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 Ooh, they had to get to say about the best bit.